Now Dido is well known for his use of point and shoot cameras, the most famous of which is probably the legendary Ricoh GR1 film camera. But did you also know that he used this camera? Now, this camera is a nice- Hey, what is going down, you awesome war-torn? Hey, what is going down, you awesome war-torn street photography geeks? Sam from CameraLegend.com, and we are, we are back today. All right, so today I want to talk to you guys about, first of all, let's talk about Dado Moriyama, okay? He's one of the most famous and renowned street photographers um, of our time, really. Japanese street photographer who is well documented to shoot with point and shoot cameras, really, for his street photography. And I think the most famous camera he used was the Ricoh GR1 film camera. But he's also used a variety of other, I would call them kind of like oddball cameras. And today's camera might be probably uh, the most odd choice that, that I thought he made. This is, today's camera is the Nikon S9100. Now, initially back then, uh, I took a few shots around the house and I deemed it a crappy camera. But upon closer inspection, this camera is unusually well specified for a camera with pedestrian looks. All right, so let me give you guys quickly the specs of the Nikon Coolpix S9100. This camera was introduced in 2011 and it is essentially a point and shoot digital camera, aka Digicam. It has a 12.1 megapixel CMOS sensor and it has a surprisingly large zoom range from 25 millimeters on the wide end to 450 millimeters at the long end. So it, it is essentially uh, a bridge camera but without the bulk. All right, so to me, this camera right here uh, is not like the best cool picks that Nikon ever made. It's not even the most famous. It's not like a high-end top spec camera. Now, I've read a lot of stuff as to why Dido may have used this camera. I've read that Nikon gave him the camera. That's what some people say. And it's entirely possible because uh, Dido has said himself, apparently, that uh, he's never bought a camera that he's always been either given or loaned cameras. So uh, you can definitely see uh, a company reaching out to him with the cameras, you know, because he's one of the most famous photographers in Japan and also around the world, actually, among photographers. And so you can totally see manufacturers reaching out to him. I believe Fuji reached out to him with an X10 and he's also used Sony RX0 and Sony A7 cameras, so it's entirely possible that Nikon reached out to him. But of course, he also has, he also could reject the offer, which I believe he has done, but somehow he chose to use this camera. So let's find out if it's actually any good. So my curiosity really was, uh, are there any redeeming qualities to this camera? Because to me, this camera is pretty much like a generic point and shoot. Let's take a look at some photos from this camera and I'll tell you a little bit more about this camera. All right, so this camera takes very nice images in color. The colors are vibrant. The images are sharp, but not all that sharp at the pixel level. Now this camera has a very useful zoom range at the wide end to tell the photo and it came in more handy than I thought it would. The camera also takes very good indoor and night shots but nothing really to differentiate it from a modern cell phone camera. All right, so to me, the best thing about this camera really is, so if you guys see that right there, high contrast monochrome, and once you select it, then you're able to just, right here, you see, you can go right here from the green mode, and once you set it up, you could just go straight from color to black and white. So I set it up for, you know, a high contrast, black and white, and I just go like that.
So here's one thing that may turn off some of you image quality purists right here. This camera has no raw mode. Just the fact that he's able to use a camera with no raw mode uh, means to me that it doesn't really matter all that much to him. And, and honestly to me, I rarely ever shoot raw these days uh, unless it's on a very important shoot then or or unless the lighting is extremely difficult but other than that i'm mostly shooting high quality jpegs now this camera has surprisingly uh fast autofocus so what can this camera teach us about the master well first of all dido values compact cameras that is a given that is well documented he values discretion cameras that do not call attention to themselves. He values fast autofocus, especially in his later years. He doesn't care for ultimate sharpness. If it's good enough, it's good enough. He doesn't need raw mode. I'm guessing if the camera has a raw mode, he probably wouldn't mind, but if it doesn't, it doesn't. Most of all, he doesn't need the best camera to take the best photos. That is the most important thing that I've learned from using the Nikon Coolpix S9100. The most important thing that I learned about Dido's style of photography. He just needs a good camera that can capture the world around him. Now, for you guys watching, do not go out and buy the Nikon Coolpix S9100 immediately after this video because that would not be the Dido way. The Dido way is use whatever camera you got and you probably got better cameras than this. Use whatever camera that you have and go out there right now and shoot and take photos of the world around you. Alright, so I hope you guys got something out of this. And if you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's keep the channel growing. Got plenty more camera legends to show you guys. And you know, I've seen this talk recently about a lot of folks quitting YouTube. You know, very successful folks. And if anybody should be quitting YouTube, it's me. Because the YouTube algorithm doesn't really like me. And maybe I make boring content or whatever. But I thank you guys for watching. And... You know, I really should quit YouTube, but I just feel that I won't quit until I give you guys all the best. And I think I've only really scratched the surface of what I have in store for you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next episode, let's take a nice Dido Moriyama-esque photo of you guys with the Nikon Coolpix S9100 at the count of three. One, two, three. I'll catch you guys next time on the CameraLegend.com YouTube channel. Yo, it's Camera Legend.